Hi, I'm Adriana Chechik and I'm Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. So, I think the thing I like the most for modeling is that it's a good workout. Uh, I love to see end results. I also am very egotistical, so <laughs> seeing good photos of me makes me happy. Um, and my least favorite thing about modeling would probably be maybe like getting bruised up afterwards or feeling like sore from doing weird stuff. But most of the time it's a great day. My hobbies are a million things. Uh, hiking. I recently got into streaming video games, so I'm obsessed with building PCs. I hate Apple products now, they're evil. <laughs> I also love to just like hang out in my backyard and I have an obsession with bubbles. So I would say bubble blowing, like bubble gum blowing, blowing bubbles with soap, trying to put myself inside giant bubbles, hanging out with my dogs, <laughs> pretty much like training for a circus. <laughs> This year, especially because of quarantine, I've learned a lot of new things about myself. I think it's very good to like put emphasis on this, but I like learned a lot of my flaws and a lot of like maybe mental illnesses or, or things that are holding me back. So I feel like it's been a really, really good open eye-opening experience on top of just how to better communicate with people, how to understand people more and how to communicate with them so they can understand me and my feelings more. My greatest fear is, is definitely the dark. I'm petrified of being in the dark. Uh, and I know that I'm also like petrified of people believing that I'm just like doing this because I am tarnished in a way or something or people believing that the reason why I do my job is for the wrong reasons and and for negative reasons because I grew up in foster care or my past so I always just I don't want people to believe that my past made me this way because I think it's a good thing <laughs> Jenna Dewan and Johnny Depp. I would love to have a just sandwich with them. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve is people brushing their teeth and spitting on the faucet. I hate seeing like toothbrush scum. And also I have all glass showers in my house. So if you don't squeegee them, it's so annoying. I, ha I, I put out the squeegee and I show everyone every time and no one does it, so I think I've gone a little bit crazy with it now. My best characteristic is I am empathetic and I feel a lot, but I also think that's my worst characteristic because it causes me to get into a lot of trouble or it also causes backlash, like if you hurt my feelings, instead of me processing things, I kind of attack to make you feel the pain I feel. So, yeah, kind of sucks sometimes. But then I'm really sorry afterwards, so, you know, I apologize really nicely. So, I'm a cynical person, so I like games that are just really annoying and taunting and frustrating. So, right now, I'm playing a game called Returnal, and it's my probably my favorite video game right now. It's a rogue style video game. So every time you die, you start back at the beginning with none of your perks. Um, you only get to go to the next realm without beating the main boss again, but things spawn randomly wherever they want. And it's just insane. Like to do one of the realms probably takes about three hours minimum. One time I spent uh, 26 hours playing, playing consistently. So, yeah, I like to torture myself. It's fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many good time periods. 
I want to say like 60s or 70s just because I feel like that's more my style but realistically whatever time period Marie Antoinette was because I just want people to feed me grapes and wine and wear really cool dresses and eat cake. South Africa is definitely the most beautiful place I've ever traveled to. One of the best experiences. Um, I've actually been there three different times. So I would say that's my, my top favorite. I already did it because it was on my bucket list, but I'd love to do it again. So I went to Zambia and did the Devil's Pool, which apparently is the better side. So I would really like to go to Zimbabwe and do their version of the Devil's Pool, which is like where you're hanging over that huge waterfall. So this is like very corny, but I inspire myself. Um, my whole life, always look, I've always looked back on things I've done, and then I always put myself in a perspective to look at my future, and it's always made me achieve better things, harder things, and I often actually go back and look at even things I did like when I was younger as a kid, and find inspiration from like old photos to do like cool photo shoots now, or just ideas, and I'm just proud of myself, so I'm my biggest inspiration. <laughs> Okay, everyone asks me how I stay in shape and I feel really bad because people always think I do like a crazy workout routine, but I honestly just live an active life. So like I hike my dogs three times a week, like five to seven miles, and then I'm just always up doing stuff. I love to run around in my house, run around in my yard. I love like relay races, so sometimes I'll just do like relay races with myself and my dogs. I feel like that's like a good, good workout. I like to pick up a lot of just random activities that are uh, super, super active. I think it stems from just YouTube videos. I, I really love like X Games and I love to watch like gymnastics and stuff like that. And then I was really active in high school. So recently I fell into a rabbit hole of watching slacklining. So slacklining which you guys should check it out, it's really cool. So it's where you just walk a rope um, between two different poles, or like sometimes it can be a building or anything like that. Um, and it's kind of like what you'd see at circuses where people do like the tightrope walking. But the anti-gravity fighters, which is a su such a dope name, is when they incorporate like freestyle movement, so for instance, like cartwheels, layouts, backflips, or just like bouncing on the line and standing up. So I'm definitely, I promise you in one year you can revisit this and I will be doing slackline anti-gravity fighter. Because I'm grown and I can like buy all the fun play things, I think that inspires a lot of my like random hobbies. Cause I'm like, oh, when I was younger, I went on a trampoline and now I'm like, mm, I'll buy a trampoline. <laughs> So I think those things always help me keep in shape too. I'm Adriana Chechik, and I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me, and you should check me out on Holly Randall's website.